Made by the Hayatus King, Black Torch is another series that had tons of potential that sadly got axed before its time. Not really unusual, but sad nonetheless, especially considering its amazing potential. To be honest, I don't really like to add the word potential to my reviews. Every series has potential, every author has a dream, but it's actually the very top tier writers alongside the luck of a hundred men that makes you utilize that potential to the max. The manga is about a kid named Jiro who fuses with a Rakugo and becoming a very powerful half-human, half mononoko thingamajiggy. Now he joins the not FBI, I'm not pronouncing this word, and they band together to perform the Suicide Squad. Listen, I, I, I didn't really focus on the story because knowing it was going to be axed made me automatically feel inclined to clear less about the drama and care more about the spectacle. And I, honestly, I think it worked in its favor. I quite enjoyed this manga and I don't think it's exclusively due to this mindset I had. The author actually had the right idea. When you start this manga, you can see several plot points being formed and revealed to the audience from the perspective of the side characters, but these plot points are not resolved. But with the sacrifice of these plot points, we do get a much better fleshed out main ending. After the manga ends, we get some character info dumps and we get some pretty hefty reveal, which makes it clear that this manga was meant to go on much longer, but also the fact that Jiro, his father played a much bigger role. In fact, this info dump showcases it's just how much of a main character he was. The main reason I'm still recommending this manga is the immense amount of grip and the legitimate jaw-dropping moments the author was able to pull off. Overall, despite the axe, the author did a great job with what he got, but you can only do so much with what you have. 7 out of 10.